Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. With the launch of Mac OS Sierra in just one week's time, you really need to make sure you have at least one bootable backup of your Mac before even considering upgrading. You may well have your data backed up in Time Machine, as I explained in tip number four, but a bootable backup is always useful as it allows you to continue working in the event of your main drive being compromised. So the first thing to do is connect a USB drive to your Mac with the same or greater capacity of your system drive. Now the drive that you connect will be wiped. If I just go across to the finder, you'll see I've got this one here, which is a USB drive. Uh, if your system supports USB 3, uh, USB 3 drives are very cheap and available these days. But just make sure you get one that's the equivalent or slightly larger than your system drive. There are several applications you can use to make a bootable backup of your system drive. But if you just want to do that and you want a free application, what I would suggest is going across to shirt-pocket.com and download a copy of SuperDuper. Now, SuperDuper is a fully featured backup application, but it will allow you to back up your system drive completely for free. And then you can pay to buy the full version if you want to use any more of the uh, sort of more sophisticated features. Now, I've already got that installed, so let me go ahead and run it. Um, We'll just cancel this opening message. Right, so the first thing you need to do is select your system drive on here. So my system drive is SCOHD, and then select on this side the target drive. So where you want the bootable backup to be placed. So I'm going to select USB D, which is my disk. Now, the particular disk that I've attached uh, isn't a Macintosh formatted disk. Now, this might well be the case if you just buy any old external USB drive. They're sometimes formatted for Windows rather than the Mac. Well, what you can do though, is go into Disk Utility, and then within Disk Utility, make sure that you select the correct drive. So it's this one here, my Lacey drive, and say Erase. And then let's give it a, a new name. Let's call this one USB Drive. Uh, change the format to Mac OS Extended Brackets Journaled, and then just say Erase. Now it will erase everything on the drive. It will reformat it in a Macintosh format, and when this process is completed, we should be able to use this drive as a bootable backup. And by the way, by bootable backup, what I mean is that you should be able to boot your system. You should be able to start your system from the USB drive so that if your system drive is corrupted or compromised in any way, uh, for instance, if the upgrade goes wrong, you'll still be able to power up your Mac and work from this new bootable backup. Okay, and that's now done. So click done and close down disk utility. Now, if we select USB drive, so pressing copy now will erase the USB drive and it will copy all the files over and more importantly, make the drive a bootable drive. So I'll go ahead and say copy now. Put in my admin password and we'll say copy. Now the time it takes to back up the drive and it's backing up everything on your hard drive, everything within your system partition on your hard drive um, will depend on how much data you have stored there. It will also depend on the speed of the drive itself. But I'm just going to leave that to run through. And when it's finished, hopefully we should have a successful copy. Right, that's now completed copying. And it's just updating the pre-binding on the USB drive, whatever that means. And the final process is to make the USB drive bootable. So that process has worked fine. Um, we do get this message at the end prompting us to register the application and perhaps buy the full version of the application. And it is a very, very good application. If you do want to do uh, some smart updates or you want to schedule regular bootable backups, uh, go ahead and check out SuperDuper. But I'm going to say later to that. And now we'll just say OK. And we're done. Now you need to validate the bootable backup by restarting your Mac and holding down the Alt or Option key. And you should see the USB drive in the list of bootable drives. So now with your validated bootable backup of your system drive, you should be able to go ahead and upgrade to Mac OS Sierra. Now check out Screencast Online episode 576, when I'll be taking a first look at Mac OS Sierra and covering all the new features in the brand new version of the operating system. Now this video has just been a short tip video, but there are over 700 full length video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now members receive a new full Apple related video tutorial each and every week, usually 30 to 40 minutes long, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. 
You can get your own 14-day free trial membership over at screencastonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone and Apple TV.